put it on your body and it's supposed to like put electricity into your body. It's like, shocking. You're gonna die, right? Can you read the directions for me real quick? Don't attach with power on because for shocking. What do you mean? Uh, shocking? Like electrocuting? Oh, 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 get the shit off. Does it work? Get it off, get it off. You're not gonna hear it. You're even gonna feel it or you don't. Oh. <laughs> Cock a doodle do. All right, guys, before the video begins, I just want to say if you didn't know, this is a brand new channel. So the chances are you're not subscribed. So make sure to click that subscribe button. And in the words of my grandpa, great <laughs> bitch. And follow me on my social media pages that's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. What's up, everybody? We're back with another video. Today's video is Wish Gear Part. Three. We got crazy gear for this one. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, before I forget, I just want to remind you that the Evan Yee Frat merch is still out. It's still on sale. So link in the bio below if you want to support me and the channel. It'd be much appreciated and you get to join the frat. Of course, if you send me a picture of you wearing the merch, I'll post you on my Instagram and shout you out on a YouTube video. Link in the bio below for that. Now, let's get into Wish Gear Part 3. First item that we got are goggles. Last time we got goggles, there were goggles to help you out with dribbling and not looking down when you dribble, not ones where it protects your eyes. So I I was easily poked. I didn't know that at the time, but now I know. But now we got protective eye goggles on some Kareem Abdul-Jabbar-ish. Next, we got the leg sleeve. I ordered a red one, so I mean, hopefully it's a red one. I ordered it, it's still in the package. We've tested arm sleeves, shooting sleeves, and knee pads in the past, but this is on a Devin Booker vibe. Basically, if you wanna score 70 points, wear a leg sleeve. Then we got the knee sleeve. Knee sleeve, a little less swaggy. Judging by the picture, it's ugly as hell. It looks like something for a middle-aged woman with arthritis. Definitely not the best looking gear looking at the picture usually there's a hole where the kneecap is but it's it's not there I remember in middle school and high school when I was still a growing boy and you know I was going through puberty my knees would hurt like crazy and I know a lot of you guys are still in middle school high school so as you're going through that growth spurt you might feel the same pain so this might come in handy next we got the finger sleeves I've never really got the point of finger sleeves only thing I can think of is that it lessens the pain when you dunk it hard how would I know wait hold on let me show you I remember when Kevin Garnett was still playing, every time he dunked the ball, his finger sleeves would fall off and he'd have to pick them up after he dunked it. So let's see if that happens with me. We also got a shoulder sleeve, very popular for 2K gear on a created player. I remember I used to watch that boy, Chris Smooth, he used to have the shoulder sleeve. Of course, when Chris Paul was going through shoulder issues, he wore it in the past. I'm not gonna lie, the shoulder sleeve looks like it'll restrict your movements when playing basketball, but that's something to look out for when testing it. Next, we got the Ninja Headband, gear that was banned by the NBA. So this is something I actually took out of the packaging because I wanted to see how it would be and I have a big head so I wanted it to wrap around my head so it made sure that it fits. Yeah, feeling it, it's thicker than the Nike headband that I have. But let's see if it soaks up the sweat and is durable enough to stay tied on and not rip during testing it. Next we got this abdominal training muscles gear. Now this is crazy people. I don't have abs like that so I was looking for a shortcut to get them, you feel me? We'll figure out how to work it when we test it out. Sheesh, summer 2020 about to come in there hot with my abs and stuff. Come on man, with my six pack. Ooh. Finally, we ordered the Elevation Mask. This is a mask seen by pro athletes to try and help them get in better shape. It's called the Elevation Mask because it makes it harder to breathe and it simulates like you're at a higher altitude. If you ask players in the NBA, a lot of them say that they struggle with playing in Denver because that's a higher altitude. Wind it already. Hey, yo. You tired, man? Are you tired? Can't breathe out here, man. You were getting, I don't know if it was lightheaded or a little tired, a little winded. Things are pretty wide open in the thin air here. Did you get your second win? Because I never get tired, but I was kind of tired out here today with the thin air. So this is supposed to help with that. I will note that the last two items, the abdominal training gear and the elevation mask, are not free, but they were so cool I had to get them and test them out. And they're from Wish. Let's go to the court. Let's test them out. What's up, everybody? We are back with another video. We are doing free Wish gear part three. As you can see, I got the gear on. I got the ninja ninja headband on which is banned by the NBA. I got the goggles on so I don't get poked in the eye. I got the knee brace. I got the leg sleeve like Devin Booker. Finger straps because we be doing stuff with our fingers. Tony, you want to show them what this is? I don't even know what this is. Put it on your body and it's supposed to like put electricity into your body. Like, oh, shot. Die, right? I don't know, but it was free on Wish. Elevation Training Mask 2.0, which is supposed to help you put you in better condition when you play basketball. We're gonna test out all the free gear, and we're gonna let you know how it works at the end of this. Seal and Tony back tail behind the camera. Lego.
All right, yo, so now we're gonna test out the finger straps because we be using our fingers and we're testing the shoulder thing as well. We're gonna see if we can shoot with it on and how well we can do it with and without it. So first, I'm gonna go up, see if I shoot better with or without the gear. Can I mention one thing that this kind of makes me feel like I'm in a cast? How's it look, Tony? Does it look like it's right? No, and it looks stupid. I wish it came with instructions on how to attach it. I feel like my arm is in paralysis right now. Morning, I would have made it, but my goggles are really foggy because you know how sometimes you be in the car with a shoddy window start fogging up. You know what I'm saying, Tony? No. I shot better with the gear than as opposed to without the gear, which means the gear from Wish makes you a better player and a better shooter, and it's free. And this is in no way sponsored by Wish, by the way. I'm putting you guys on game. We don't know how to put the shoulder <laughs> thing on. Yo, how you? <laughs> no. Can I just show the camera? This is what they give us. How are we supposed to put this on? This looks like. It looks like a one of those airplane masks. <laughs> nah, you look like one of those people that find Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Oh, no, no, don't say that, Tony. You're not, you don't suck. I mean, he, he sucks something. He's a past first point guard. Neil is getting married, and we're just, you know, getting him ready for his big day. I'm getting married to the game. You got that no, ring on. No, this, ring. No cap. this feels like, you know, when you get your blood pressure measured, nurse, like, straps that shit on, and then she pumps it and gets tighter and tighter. That's what I was thinking about. Finger things are actually helpful, but the uh, shoulder sleeve gotta go. Why you like the finger thing? It helps you spread your fingers out, you know, like evenly. That's so sweaty. Why you think they sweaty? Put in work. Yeah, that's exactly why they're sweaty. <laughs> nice pass, boy. better without the shooting sleeve and the finger sleeve. Also tell them what people want to know. Why do you have a turtle tattoo? I got the turtle tattoo in the Philippines, Polynesia. I swear my turtles. All right, is it because you're sexually attracted to turtles? <laughs> he be on that bitch ass. They do like animals. They do like animals. All right, yo, so now we're going to test out the goggles. Wow, <laughs> stop. <laughs> We're gonna try this thing. Can you read the directions for me real quick? Don't attach with power on because for shocking. What you mean? Uh, shocking, like electrocuting. I'm scared. You feel it? No, I don't feel nothing. Ah! I didn't do anything. I'm playing. <laughs> Does this say anything about the numbers and the settings? When it presses power on and rising intensity button, the lamp comes to dawn little by little. What is this, a story? Oh, 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 oh get the shit off. Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, you see that vibrating? Ah, ah, get it off! Get it off! Oh, shame a little, Mateo. God damn. I'm too scared to put it back on, but he's fearless. He's Caucasian. The only thing they fear is black people speaking a different language. <laughs> all the way up. Number four. Turn it all the way up. <laughs> Why? The thing that scares me most—you never know. Is, when. You don't know what it got to turn on. I think it's broken. No, that's the opposite. 
know the off button. You just gotta wait. When you're in the state no, of exorcism, keep... like Neil said, know how to take it off. Keep pressing buttons. You gotta move. You feel it? You're not gonna hear it. You're either gonna feel it or you don't. Oh. <laughs> Come out of nowhere. That tickles. Broke, Broke it. That's <laughs> attack me. <laughs> now no one else can try it because you're self What if they still do it? What if they start getting prolonged seizures and they just randomly start twitching from that, bro? What if we got like superpowers like the static shock or something? Come on, lightning bender. Like, push it. Chill out, dog. It's not like one of those shock pens. Yeah, so I was about of, to say that. Instead of one point, it's like a your bunch of pens arm. going around your arm. Like, and my goggles are super fogged up right now. You also look like Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ha ha ha, funny Tony. I don't think I should be good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I am dark. I look like the bad guy from Batman. What's yeah. his name? Bane. 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 What did he say? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. I was born in the darkness. That's not what he said. Say in a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not huh? bro. I feel like them uh, putting Darth Vader together. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to do with <laughs> Sounds like you have a nasal congestion. No, he sounds like the Darth Vader. <laughs> Say Dark Vader. Nearly born into the dark. I was born there. Dance with my dogs in the night time. I can take it out of Popeye. Hey. Alright, so now we're gonna do suicides with this thing on to see if it actually works. I'm having a hard time breathing. I feel like I have nasal congestion slash I'm Dark Vader. I don't know if you heard that, but we're gonna do suicides now to see if this thing works. Alright. And we put it on the wrong way. I think we put it on the wrong way. Yeah. It's still on wrong, but whatever. I can't confirm it's harder to breathe with this on. And, and it's not affected and makes your nipples hurt. Y'all like that? Yeah. Maybe my thing that turns me on is not being able to breathe. Oh, that's a fetish. <laughs> being choked out Maybe or something. Choked. <laughs> oh, no, you, you like one of those masks with the apple that go around for <laughs> your mouth. That's, what's that called? Oh, okay. Yeah. Think about that. All right, we're back. Time for the review of every item. Starting off with the goggles out. They work, they're adjustable, so you can have them on tight or loosen them up if you so please. Did not allow finger penetration. Rating of the goggles, 10 out of 10. But the leg sleeve, it did come in red like I wanted it. It didn't slide down like prior knee sleeves and other sleeves that I've gotten in the past. It stayed up. Durable material, it did not rip on me and I'm squeezing it pretty hard right now. Uh, leg sleeve rating, 10 out of 10. Tony did say it looked like one of those things that ladies be wearing, you know, when they're trying to look sexy and stuff. Next, we got the knee sleeve. It was cool. It was a little confusing trying to put it on right without it looking ridiculous. If they made it simpler and better looking, I'd give it a higher rating. But functionality wise, it did work and again it didn't come with the hole in the middle for flexibility in the knee knee sleeve rating six out of ten next we've got the finger sleeves it may be a better shooter i'm not gonna lie definitely weird to have on if you're not used to hooping with finger sleeves on but they stayed on however it can get very sweaty in there and it was very comfortable when i did my dunk next we got the shoulder sleeve now i should have looked at the picture before i put it on because we had no idea how to put it on and it was just very confusing but it shouldn't be like that i feel like it should be a lot more simpler to know how to put on a shoulder sleeve when it was on on my shoulder it felt like it was a cast and it was definitely restricting my movements which you know was a prior concern of mine and to be honest it's pretty flimsy so it's not really protecting anything shoulder sleeve rating three out of ten next we got the ninja headband and don't i'm not gang affiliated so don't even try that right now <laughs> i have a big head and a wrap around my head no problem got all the sweat so if you want a ninja headband for basketball which has it and it's very functional however if you're in the nba you can't wear it so all the nba players watching this can't get it ninja head been writing 10 out of 10 so moving on to the abdominal training muscles thing as you can see this is what's left of it because Mateo freaking broke it as you can see it's very sticky it's stuck onto this paper so all right, it wasn't as sticky as I thought but anyways here's where the review gets very bad I'm sure this does work 
or if there's another form of it from a more reputable company. But at the same time, this is from Wish, meaning it's from China. As soon as we read the description where it said it could electrocute you, I, I was regretting my decision to buy this. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared to holding it right now. It comes with batteries, but it is very confusing. The manual was of no use. It had many spelling and grammatical errors. Basically, we put it on, press buttons, and hoped it worked. And it takes a while, but it turns on by itself, which is scary because you don't know when it's gonna work or what you're gonna feel. I dead ass thought it was just gonna feel like a little vibration, like it was massaging your abs. But after a minute of just pressing random buttons, it turned on and it felt like it was shocking you. Like those electrical pans where you press the button and it goes, zzz, zzz. yeah, those. Okay, turn it on. It's a piece of crap, it doesn't work. I could have told you that. A very unpleasant feeling, I might add. Mind you, I don't like being shocked. I don't like touching things when my fingers are all staticky and it shocks you like that. That's why whenever I reach to open a door, I carefully touch it, a part of my body, and then quickly touch it with my hand and open it. I hate the feeling of being shocked. But anyways, I guess this is what people with abs do. They electrocute themselves. I was too scared to do it again, so I had Mateo do it because, you know, he likes to climb tall ass buildings for fun and he's not scared, so I knew he wasn't gonna be scared of this. I just wasn't a fan. Like I said, if it came from a more reputable company, I'd be more willing to try it. I guess summer 2020 isn't gonna see six-pack Evan on the beach. I know. We all lose. Plus, my tail broke it, so it don't work no more. <laughs> rating of the abdominal training gear is a 2 out of 10. The only reason I give it that high of a rating was because it was funny to see Mateo use it. <laughs> Moving on to the elevation mask. This was fire, not gonna lie. The best part of the gear test video. Came in the box, vacuum sealed, so you know it was official. The box it came in wasn't your usual wish packaging. It actually came in a legit box with a lot of bubble wrap, I mind you. So I knew this product was gonna be something serious. As you can see, it also comes with extra attack that makes it harder to breathe. Using it for the test, it worked. It felt like I was at a higher altitude. It was definitely harder to breathe. I'm actually gonna use this to train from now on. Not only because it works, but it makes you look cool too and more official. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. Even though I had it on the wrong way, but you know, that's besides the point. Hopefully, I'm not breathing in toxic sh from this mask, but it was dope and I felt like Bane from Batman. And I sounded like Darth Vader. Hello. Your mother was thick. <laughs> At least I thought I did. I sounded more like the creepy dude from Hey Arnold that stands behind Helga every time she talks about Arnold. Rating of the elevation mask, 8.5 out of 10. So overall, out of all the things I got, I really like the goggles, the ninja headband, leg sleeve, finger sleeves. Cannot be manly by doing that. And the elevation mask. Now I wasn't crazy about the knee sleeve or the shoulder sleeve, and I hated the electric ab workout thingy. Can someone please explain the science behind this? My abs will have to wait. Four to six weeks later. What's up guys, it's actually been a month and a half after I filmed that last video you watched or currently watching because it's the same video. I just want to give you a quick update on all the gear that I got and which ones I still use and which ones are holding up. The only ones I really use are the red leg sleeve. If you've seen the Russell Westbrook shoe review, the Why Not 3s, I wore this. And a Fire Power Ranger shirt, I might add. The Ninja Headband, I still rock heavy. The Blonde Whip... This, uh, never mind that. That's for uh, another video. I use the leg sleeve and the ninja headband when I scrimmage, play pickup, and I still use the elevation mask. I keep holding it the wrong way. The elevation mask, but I wear the elevation mask only when I train. And then, as you can see, it's worked out a lot because since the last video, which was a month and a half ago, if you noticed, I lost a little bit of weight. And it's all thanks to the electrical shocking thingy that you put on your abs. All you gotta do is endure the pain for a little bit, and then you lose weight. Just kidding, guys. As hard as it is to comprehend, there is no quick way to lose lose weight or anything as I thought in the video where I could just use something from Wish that was free that was gonna give me six pack abs. It don't work like that. Just eat healthier and work out a little bit. So maybe six pack Evan is on his way. So I'm about to cue the ending of the video, which is me in the past, but it's still forward in the video. I don't know, man. All right, cue the ending. All right, guys, thanks again for watching the video. We're in all covers and Make my nipples hard though. You right, didn't do that later, bro. Alright, yo, thanks again for watching the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, watch my other videos up there and down there. Let me know what you think of the free gear from Wish. Would you cop? It is free. Except this, this is the first one. Until next time, we out. Dirt.